Hello students, welcome to the first video of this new playlist. So in this new playlist, I'll be solving Statistics 1, that is S1 May 2023 paper. So in each of the videos in this playlist, I'll be solving each of the questions from this paper. So basically, uh, there are total seven questions in this paper. So under this playlist, it will have seven separate videos that will be showing like the solutions to each of the questions of this paper. So since this is the first video of this playlist, in this video we will be solving the first question. Uh, the first question from May 2023 Statistics 1 paper. So let's see what's the question number one is about. So basically the concepts behind uh, question number one it's from it's combinedly from chapter number two there is measures of spread and location of your statistics one textbook and also you need a concept from chapter number three that is representation of data uh, to be more specific we need to deal with uh, mid mid uh, median uh, mean from chapter two and also in chapter three we will be uh, we will be dealing with histograms you can see on the screen our histogram so let's get started with question number one okay so in number one the histogram sh shows the distances in kilometer that 274 people travel to work the histogram you can see a histogram that is given uh, it shows the traveled distance to work for 274 people okay so on the x-axis the distance is taken the distance tra traveled in kilometer and along the y-axis the frequency density is taken so we know that in a histogram uh, along the x-axis what the class class interval is taken right and along the y-axis the frequency density is taken right okay so let's see Part A, given that 60 of these people travel between 10 km and 20 km to work, they have, uh, it's given that 60 of these people, the frequency is 60, for which class, this is 10 to 20, right? For 10 to 20, for this class, what? The frequency is 60. Okay, now part A asks to find the number of people who travel between 22 km and 45 km to work okay so in part a we need to find the number of people who travel between 22 km and 45 km to work okay so right at first let's have some concepts from histogram we know that for a histogram okay for a histogram the frequency is basically proportional to the area of the bars right that means for 60 since we know that frequency of histogram that is uh, the frequency frequency is what proportional to the area of the what area of bars okay so since it's proportional that means if you take out the proportionality sign we need to have a constant which is k right so uh, frequency would be equal to what frequency would be equal to what K K is the proportionality constant I'll explain it what does this like this uh, constant K mean so K times area of what bars okay like if you take out the proportionality sign you need a constant to be multiplied okay so this constant is basically the scaling factor along the y-axis because we are not sure we are not sure here whether the scaling along the y-axis is it like one big box is one unit or not we don't know exactly because the scaling is not given along the y-axis so basically along the y-axis the scaling factor is considered to be what k okay so they said it's given that 60 of these people okay from for which class for 10 to, tw uh, 10 to 20 for this class 
the frequency is given. That means we know the area for this what class. Okay. So for this cl class, what we know that what would be the area? It is 60. The total area is 60. That is the frequency. And the actual area from the histogram, this is what? Along the x-axis, this is the uh, length. Length is 10 units, right? And the height is basically how much? 3 units. But we don't know the scaling factor. So we will consider what? This is k. This is 2k. Okay. And this is thrice of k. Okay. So that means what we can write here for part A. Uh, the area, the actual area from the histogram, this is what? The 10 times what? Trice of k, this is equals to how much? 60. Okay? So, at first get the scaling factor. So, the value for k is equals to how much? This is 2. That means, along the y-axis, one big box, that is uh, 5 small squares, will, will be what? Two frequency densities. So this is two, this is four, and there is six. Right? Okay. Now they asks they asked they have asked to find the number of people who travel between twenty two kilometer and forty five kilometer to work. Okay. So where is twenty two to uh, forty five? Here you go. Uh, tw this is twenty two, and there you go forty five. Right? So just find out the area of the birds to get the frequency. Right? So, we need the number. So, number of peoples. Okay, we need to find out the number of peoples. So, find out the area. So, how many, like the area of this bar from 22 to 30. Th this is what? 8 units along the x-axis and along the y-axis, this is what? 2. Frequency density is 2. So, 8 times 2. So number of people is what? 8 times 2 plus plus what? 8 times 2 plus uh, 30 to 45. That is 15. So 15 times how much is this? 15 times uh, this is basically uh, 0 0.8. 0 0.4 is for one small square along the y-axis. So 15 times what? 0 0.8. Now Calculate the value, what you will get, uh, 8 times 3 is 16 plus, what, 15 times 0 0.8, that would give you exactly 28. So that means exactly 28 people travel between 22 kilometer and 45 kilometer to work. That's it. Okay, let's see part B. In part B, the question asks to find the median distance traveled to work by these 274 people we need to find out the median okay okay so this is a continuous data how do i understand because histogram is always used to represent what the continuous data only right so for continuous data we need to find out at first since the class interval would be continuous so in that case, we need to find out the median class at first. So what's the median class? What's the process to find out the median class? So median class is the class where the half, the, the, the value, the data value, which corresponds to the half of the whole data, where it lies, this class would be, the class where this value lies, that class would be the median class. Okay. So basically, at first figure out the median class here. So what would be the median class? It would be the class where 274 over 2th term lies. Okay. So uh, median class is which one? Uh, class is what? Uh, let's say 274 over. Okay. Median value. Uh, okay. Median value is basically value is what 274 over 2 th term right so this is basically what 274 over 2 this is 137 right 
274 over 2 this is uh yeah one, 137 so 137 th term which lies which lies in the class which class it lies in the class what okay two 137 the value is 137 where does it lies it lies basically in uh, let's find out the area to figure this out so the first bar for the first bar the area is how much the along the y along the x-axis this is 5 class interval class width is 5 and along the y-axis the frequency density is what uh, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 this is basically 10 so 10 times 2 so this is basically 20 frequency density is 20 so 20 times 5 this is 100 okay next is from 5 to 10 it is also 5 units and uh, frequency density is basically uh, 4 5 6 7 so this is basically 14 frequency density is 14 so 14 times 5 which gives you 70 so we got 170 so here in the first part the area is 100 in the second bar the area is basically 70 so 100 plus 70 this add up 170 so 137 137 is greater than 100 that means the median basically lies in this class okay so we got the class where the median lies it basically lies of uh, where uh, the weight in the class 5 to 10 okay the class 5 to 10 5 to 10 okay so we need to find out the median value right so median is basically q2 q2 equals to what we will use a direct formula for the interpolation method we definitely we need to use interpolation method here since the uh, it's it's continuous data okay so interpolation method for interpolation method i i use a very simple method for finding the median quad and quartiles which is l L is the least value for the median class plus n over 2 which is 137 minus fc fc is basically the cumulative frequency of the previous class to the median class which we found to be 100 times h h is the class width which is 5 over fm fm is the frequency of the median class which is 70 okay so the value for q2 we will get here uh, 137 minus 100 which is 37 so 37 times 5 over 70 will give you 37 over 14 plus 5 which is 107 over 14 which is basically 7.64 okay so at first let me write the exact value and then we will uh, write it in decimal that would be perfect 107 over 14 kg is the median which can be written in decimal to three significant figures as 7.64 kg and that's the median of the what traveled distances to the work that's it that's all about part b okay next is part c for part c the question asks to find the mean distance the mean distance traveled to work by these 274 people this is very straightforward right so from uh, chapter 2 we know that for a for a for a grouped data this is basically continuous data or it is also called as grouped data for grouped data what we do to finding to find the mean the formula is what sum of fx over n right the sum of fx over n mean is uh, considered to consider this as uh, distance so d bar okay that would make more sense so d bar equals to sum of f x over n okay so sum of f x means f is the frequency and x means the the mid class mid value so basically mean is the summation of of frequency times the respect like the mid class mid value of their respective uh, cl class uh, class over what the total data n the total number of data n so let's do that 
sum of fx, so frequency times the class mid value of their respective class. It's like for each class we need to find the mid the, the product of their class mid value and the frequency. So for the first class, it is what? The class mid value is basically uh, 2.5 and the frequency is what? 100, isn't it? So 2.5 times 100, 100 is the frequency plus what's the cla like class mid value for the second uh, group which is 7.5, right? 7.5 times the class, so the frequency is 70, okay? Plus next is what? For the next class, the class uh, mid value is basically 15, so 15 times uh, 15 times this is uh, frequency is basically 6 so 15 uh, fif 15 is the class mid value and the frequency is what 6 times what class width 6 is the frequency density so 6 times the class width is basically 10 which is 60 so frequency of the third group is 60 so this is 60 plus and then uh, the next group has class mid value which is 25 so 25 and frequency is what 25 and frequency is basically 2 times 10 that would give you 20 so 25 times 20 okay so that would be plus okay let me raise it we need more space so plus 25 times what 20 okay 25 is the class mid value and 20 is basically the frequency okay let me over like this this will be divided by n which is 274 right and we have remaining the last what the last group which has class mid value uh, 30 40 45 exactly 45 right yes 45 and the uh, frequency is what frequency is 10 20 30 30 times 0 0.8 so that would give you uh, the class, class mid value is 45 45 times what the frequency we got here uh, which is 30 times 0 0.8 it will give you 24 so 45 times 24 this is just sum of fx Okay, simple, very simple, nothing complex here. Now we need to just do the summation. So 2.5 times 100 plus 7.5 times 70 plus 15 times 60 plus 25 times 20 plus 45 times 24. So that would give you 3,255 over 274. That would be what? Uh, Okay, 3255, 3255 over 274. Okay, so this is basically <coughs> how much kg? Up to three significant figures. This is 11.9 kg. Three significant figure. And that's all about part C. And that's the end of question number one from Statistics 1, May. 2023 paper